Here is an A-grade question on finding an area using integration. A quadratic curve has equation y equal x squared minus 3x plus 18, where x is an element of the real number set. The tangent to the curve at the point P meets the x-axis at the point with coordinates 1, 0, as shown in the figure above. Find the area of the finite region bounded by the curve, the coordinates axis, and the tangent to the curve at P, shown shaded in figure above. This question is worth 12 marks. Pause the video, have a go at the question, and then play the video. I'm going to start off by labelling the shaded area R. For this question, we are given the equation of the curve, but we are not given the equation of the line. So I'm going to start off by finding the equation of the line. So equation of line. That's my target. I want to work out the equation of the line. So let y equal mx plus c, where m is greater than 0. The straight line has a positive gradient. C is less than 0. The straight line has a negative y-intercept. The straight line passes through P. We don't know the coordinates of P. We can call it x, y. Where x is bigger than 0, y is bigger than 0 because the coordinate P is in the first quadrant. OK, so the line passes through P, which has coordinate x, y, and the coordinate 1, 0. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. This implies that 0 is equal to m multiplied by 1 plus c. So I've substituted the coordinate x equal 1, y equal 0 into the equation of the straight line which is y equal mx plus c. Rearranging and making c the subject gives me c is equal to minus m. Hence, the equation of the straight line is now y equal mx minus m. The straight line and the curve intersect once at the point p. This implies that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0 because there's only one intersection. At p, the curve x squared minus 3x plus 18 is equal to the straight line mx minus m. Taking the right hand side to the left hand side gives me x squared minus 3x plus 18 minus mx plus m is equal to 0. I can rewrite this quadratic equation as x squared minus 3x minus mx plus 18 plus m is equal to 0. Factorising the x's gives me in brackets minus 3 minus m x plus the 18 plus m I can put that in brackets as well. If I wanted to. The coefficient of x squared is 1, that represents a. The coefficient of x is minus 3 minus m, that represents b. And c is just 18 plus m. To find m, I can now substitute my a, b and c into the discriminant equation b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. If I do this, I get in brackets minus 3 minus m squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 which is my a 4 times 1 is just 4 multiplied by c which is 18 plus m this has to equal 0 if i expand and simplify this i get m squared plus 2m minus 63 is equal to 0 factorizing this quadratic equation involving m gives me m minus 7 in brackets m plus 9 in brackets equal to 0. So the two solutions for m are m equals 7, m equal minus 9. But m is greater than 0. The straight line has a positive gradient. Hence, 
we reject the solution m equal minus 9 and we accept the solution m is equal to 7. The equation of the straight line is y equal mx minus m, but I know that m is equal to 7. Hence, the equation of the straight line is therefore y is equal 7x minus 7. The coordinate for P, which is x, y, is given by solving the equation x squared plus minus 3 minus m in brackets x plus 18 plus m in brackets is equal to 0. But I know that m is equal to 7, so I can substitute m equal to 7 into this quadratic equation to give me x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to 0. Now, I know that this quadratic equation will have one solution because the curve and the straight line intersect once. The solution to this quadratic equation is x equal 5. Now to work out the y coordinate, I can substitute x equal 5 into the equation of the curve or the equation of the line. I'm going to substitute x equal 5 into the equation of the line, giving me y is equal 7 in brackets 5 minus 7. So y is equal to 28. Hence, the coordinate for p is 5 and 28. I can now move on to work out the area R. So here's my diagram. Now this area R is given by this area. Take away the area of the triangle. This point over here represents P, which is 528. This point over here also represents P, which is 528. This point has x coordinate 0. This point has x coordinate 5. This point over here is just the x-intercept of the straight line, which was 1. And this point over here has x coordinate 5. Now, the height of the right angle triangle is just the y coordinate for P, which is 28. This area over here is the area under the curve bounded by the line x equals 0, the line x equals 5, and the x-axis. To work out this area, I need to integrate the quadratic curve from 0 to 5. To find this area, I need to use a formula for the area of a right angle triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. So the first area is given by the integral from 0 to 5, of the quadratic x squared minus 3x plus 18 dx minus the second area which is given by base times height divided by 2. The base is 5 take away 1 which is 4. So 4 multiplied by the height which is 28 divided by 2. So let's go ahead and work out the definite integral. So integrating term by term gives me x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 plus 18x in square brackets taking the limits 0 to 5 minus 4 times 28 divided by 2 is 56 substituting x equal 5 into the cubic gives us 565 over 6 take away substituting x equals 0 into the cubic gives us 0 minus 56 Simplifying this gives me 229 over 6. So 229 over 6 represents the area R. I can stick in unit squared. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to tap the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell.